I probably should have counted later. <laughs> <laughs> countdown to hit the button for the countdown. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good now. We're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to our water deep game, Reign of Misrule. <coughs> mm, cough. And so today, once again, we have our soundtrack by Sirenscape. Wonderful for all your background sound needs. You can create playlists, um, all the stuff. The link is above Scott's head. It's pretty cool. And the fact that they have, again, makes it worth it. I think it's, they actually discounted the price. I checked the other day and it looks mm -hmm. like it's about $12 for the full mm -hmm. everything rather than the 15 So $12 for everything. I always get the wrong number. So I normally go a bit high. So it's probably a lot cheaper sometimes. Go for it. Get it. There's nothing to lose except obviously like $12 so every so many months. But it's not really losing because it's a wonderful product. <laughs> and um, just so much. It's it's amazing. Yeah. We love it. We need to use it more. I'm paying for it. Not sponsored. Um, but yeah, check them out. Um, any other pregame announcements? Don't think so. No. Nope. Other moment. than let's kick down the doors of this mall. And let's go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh look, it's their version of Sunday. No shops are open. Hey, <laughs> let's go to the Church of Lothander. Their shop's open. No. Oh, yeah. They have a no. shop? Yeah, the, the gift shop. Sun. Yep. <laughs> you, you offer them a uh, tribute to their church, and you get something back. Isn't that shopping? <laughs> we give you a thumbs up. I mean, technically. <laughs> they give you a thumbs up, and they cast light on it, so it's like a little sun. <laughs> oh, I love it. As long as it's not the 2E version. I may or may not. Oh shit! I may or may not have a Paladin of Lothander planned, and it's not, and it's not the DCA version. Just a mm. yeah. Anyway, so so if that's no real program, then where we last left our heroes, heroes. Um. Okay. All right. Now they were just what I mean. Had a meeting with the Open Lord Doral. Laurel. Lariel, I thought. Lariel. Lariel. Yeah. It has pronunciations on the front of the book, doesn't it? Her hand is silver. Mm hmm. Silver hand. Mm -hmm. One of the seven sisters, which means she has six more sisters. Oh, Three nice. Three of which I believe are dead. Maybe four. Oh, not nice. <laughs> yeah. So Though the one died and came back as a spectral harpist and then died again? I'll Long story. I was about to say, keep our bard away, but I don't think we need to worry about that. If they're all dead. <laughs> I, I was just at, I, wait, what? <laughs> so, you were contacted by her to explore a strange, weird anomaly of the magic type near Mount Waterdeep. You, they don't know much other than it doesn't seem to be wild magic, but it does seem... It's an unusual occurrence. It's so, doing wild things. So it's a really anomalous anomaly. As opposed to all yes. kind of and she basically wants you guys to check it out to see, to give a more of a full report. Because everybody that's been sent there, instead of like, let's be cautious and check it out. We're like, Leroy Jenkins, and just checked it out. Oh, so and, Prometheus um, school of touch everything. Yeah. Oh, so there's... she figured lower level adventurers would be like, hmm, let's not be as skung ho and actually come back with a report of what's going on. Also, you know, expendable. <laughs> I got you. A alien, <laughs> alien planet. Somebody tried to lick the magic. A a a alien planet. You know, there's oxygen in the air, so, you know, there yeah. possibly couldn't be anything yeah. else in the air. Let's Here's just take our helmets off. Here's this weird egg thing that's oozy mm -hmm. and gross. I'm going to touch it. Not even Apparently. gonna put a latex glove on. Just fucking touch it. And here they have her name as Laryl. Nice. Lair all. Laryl. Okay. Laryl. Laryl Silverhand. It sounds like a kitchen cleaner. <laughs> or something in the garden. It's like a all that you used to garden, but it's a Laryl. <laughs> oh, don't. <sighs> don't don't give me started on kitchen cleaners. 
I gotta make labels for that. That's my day job. Oh. <laughs> I was really confused for a second. I'm like, wow, that is a... Like, I know people are salty about weird things, but that is a very specific <laughs> level of salt to be annoying at something. <laughs> now I gotta make a uh, an kitchen cleaner with her face on it. <laughs> anyway. So, you travel to Mount Waterdeep. The mountain <clears throat> in the middle of water. It's actually in the middle, is it? No. It is. South, south. It is. Uh, it's right next to Castle Ward. Yeah, it's right behind his head. Yeah. Oh, right. Like straight up behind your head. Yeah. Yeah. The like yeah, there green. Is all yeah, this. that whole thing is yeah. more water deep. Um, mm -hmm. question: It is spring or summer right now? Is it still snowy in the no. area that it is we're? A pleasant spring day. Um, okay, there's so it's not... probably but... some snow at the very top. But she said it's near the base, so okay. You shouldn't cool. have to worry about. I am not going to bother carrying my snowshoes then. There was a. So I was really disappointed because I just got these magic boots. But if it's snowing, I have to wear the snowshoes because I'm fucking three feet tall. Okay, four feet tall, but still. There was a ridiculously okay. quick montage of us traveling there, and while traveling there, a plus one sword gets thrown to Serene, and um, <laughs> the dwarf goes by to climber kit. On our way there without slowing down at all. I mean, for what it's worth, my speed is forty-five now. You can you can almost climb faster than you fall. Hmm. All right, just trying to bring something up because effort. Next road level, man. I'm going thief, so I get that climbing speed. <laughs> never climb again. I know, never oh, again. I, I was thinking you're probably actually right now probably the best climber we got, and you're gonna just like zoom past the rest of us. Ah, uh, Google, come on, work with me. So, oh, okay, we're at the bottom of this mountain. That, oh, are we going okay. up the same way we did before? Um. At first, you think you are, but then as you are approaching that area, you. Oh, God. I'm, I'm looking at something here. And I'm He's like, reading uh, the PDF and be like, I should have read this beforehand. I wonder if that hermit's still there. Probably. Was, I mean, he he's was, a hermit, isn't it? By definition, Helam. they don't leave. He's, he was kind of cool. Mm hmm. Yeah, Helam. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's a, he's a big boy. I'll be honest, I don't really remember a ton of that. I think my brain might have frozen up a little bit. That's okay. It always freezes. That was it like, was very cold. That was like our first mission too, I think. I'm trying to um pretty damn close to determine it. Determine yeah. one small thing here. Patience looks into his um I I don't know what a warlock could look into to for his spells. Uh, you have a spell book, dude. Oh yeah, that's right. I do have the, the book of shadows. <laughs> okay, so as you guys uh, get to nice. the base of water deep, mm -hmm. you see not that far up on the water, uh, not too far up, near actually where the shrine of the um oh the shrine of the fallen world, God's War, yeah, yeah, is. You see this multicolored, like warp, where the sky is just like. Ah, uh, that looks like the thing. We approach the well. At least Santa approaches the weird warbly thing. Patient shoots an eldritch blast at it just to see what would happen. Okay, roll ah! damage. It just explodes on <laughs> Santa. Wait, seriously? Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you would allow this mechanically, but he only fires one. You uh, just fire one and the other two go into the dirt. Or the other one or two. I'm probably going to take all this, but three-fourths damage. You say three-fourths? Three-fourths. Like, use the oh. force loop. I was like, how do you do a fraction of a point? I'm just that bad. <laughs> I'm like, um, um, Patrick Rufus, who somehow had Half a hit point for an entire session. Chris Perkins and they make jokes out of it. So. I was gonna say, how? No, really? How do you have a half a hit point? 
He, he, he they have this trademark thing where they call it the Pat Rufus bullshit, where he'll like try to uh, weasel his way out of logic things as the player to the DM. And Chris Perkins really likes that he does that. It humors him, so he lets him get away with shit. You should have died, but he's like, I'll let you live, but you're prone at half a hit point. And he's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So you shoot your beam through, and at first you don't see much, and then you hear, ah! or from the other side. Um. Uh, patience, lad. Can I see anything through that? I've gotten a little closer. How close do you get? Uh, the whole the question of the day warp <laughs> appears to be approximately a twenty-four foot sphere. If it's a twenty-five, uh, no, twenty-four foot sphere. Twenty-four yeah, and three eighths. I get it. I get nice. like three feet, <laughs> and then if nothing bad happens, then twenty. <laughs> I think, I, have, I think I have a socket wrench for that. Well, you're about 10 feet away. As you're looking, no, when you first got here, the whole thing was very prismatic, very hard to see. But as you go, it starts um, starting to see some images. At first, when you're looking, you just see what appears to be these weird creatures that are like snake from the race down. And the top half is kind of human battling some dragons. And then it like kind of warps a bit. You see an image that might be some orcs fighting some people wearing bronze weapons. And it just keeps warping to different images. Oh. I think it's an illusion. I don't think it's an uh, illusion. Do you guys want to come and look at this? Okay, tell me when it gets to um, something that looks evil. I saw snake people in the wibbly, colorful thing. Snake people? Snake people, like a snake from the waist down and people from the waist mm. up. Yes, yeah, so you're watching some more going through. There's an image you see of just this huge rock falling from the sky. Would I recognize what that is? No, no, it's a huge rock on the sky. Okay. Arcana check with the dumb guy as he walks up to the same distance away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about right. I got under ten, so. <laughs> you got under the tail. Actually, do I have a bonus in Arcana? Mm -hmm. Okay, some more locks do. I was just making sure. Yeah, that was seven total, so no. That's a rock. <laughs> Now, when I say rock, R O C K. I got a 17 on my Arcana check, so do I know what that big thing is? Did you walk up and see it? I did, actually, yes. Okay. Walk up. You're not sure with Arcana. You just know something fell? It's history. Oh, well, who the fuck? Okay. Oh, same I modifier, mean, so still seven. Dirty 20 now. Different deck. Um, you're not a hundred percent, but the only thing you can remember is the fall of Nithro, when the floating cities of Nithro fell literally from the sky a couple thousand years ago. Uh, okay. Um, insight check. Do I think this is like some kind of a time hopping portal? It's harder insight. An inanimate object. Oh, Mark. Would that be Arcana? <laughs> it's animated though. It keeps changing. From you. That time might be Arcana. <laughs> yeah, that's Arcana. It, the portal's not hiding nothing. Or is it? I'm just trying to understand it. Not, you know. It's showing everything. everything, but also hiding everything. Well, that, that Arcana check was a 15. Um... You're thinking it's temporal in nature? Um, I'm looking around nearby on the portal, like in, just on the ground here. Um, is there anything kind of like long or stick-like? Patience. I'm not putting my staff in this thing. I'm not at 
I'm just saying. No, we that's why that I need a stick. We I, did I that wanna... dungeon underwater deep and it went poorly. I had to You're, have that shit repaired. The longest thing other than rock is um near the monument, you do see a bouquet of long stem roses. So they're about this long. Patience goes to poke it with his quarterstaff. All right. You poke it with your quarterstaff? Only the very end of it. Just the tip. Just the, just the tip? Yep, yep. As you Before put you even the tip it. in, mm-hmm. it flares and just... And next thing you guys know, you're standing at the bottom of the mountain and you just hear screams and there's fire in the city. What did you do? (laughs) I immediately cast fly and go straight up to see what the heck's going on. Oh, yeah, I can't control how how high level of it. Uh, Hey, does anybody else want to know how to fly? Uh, Yeah, uh, sure. (laughs) Boom, Thana, you can fly. Somebody else, I'm fast as shit. Say it. Now what? You just know how to fly? He casts it at max level. Yeah, I I can't not. He he can target other people. Ooh, yes, please. Okay, boop. The bard, the bard and the warlock can fly, and the warlock goes right. straight up to as see what the heck's going on. The bard starts doing loopy loops. As you fly up and looking around, mm-hmm. you see um, probably about um, right now you are, if you look at your head near Mount Waterdeep, this is, oh man, it's not on there, is there? C- uh, Dock Ward, which is right below you. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. there, it's just, you know, the green screen's yeah. cut off. We should get the map out. Um, yeah, I was actually thinking about that. We should see about getting like a metal board here, and I could put them up with a uh, mac ends. I have the map you want over me to here. Put it up on my stream for, on my stream window. I can do that. Just so people have a little idea. But and Dark War, you see it's on fire, and you see griffins battling what appears to be some sort of undead pegasi with skeletal warriors on the back. And on the ground, you see just the guard and watch battling throughout the streets against, like, ghouls and demons and other creatures of the night. Okay, and- Patience is super worried. He looks over towards the North Ward, where their tavern is. Okay, roll Perception, since you're... Yeah, uh... Yeah, what, what is he saying, Spaceballs? Oh, yeah. I ain't seen shit. <laughs> your I... eye is cu- you get your as you're walking or as you're looking before you get to look that far. It's pretty far, so it's kind of hard to see detail. But where the yawning portal would be is just a fuck you overused MCU DCEU beam of light shooting up from it. Oh, is it this big giant war machine that's like? causing base cannon rifts that's destroying the world and there's one on the opposite side? No, no, it's that beam that shoots up whenever a villain's like, I will destroy the world! Boo! That beam. So, like, Avengers, um... Avengers, um... Iron Man, um... Suicide Squad. That's that's the huge list. Every movie ever. (laughs) (laughs) I did base. For those wondering, I put into the Zoom chat uh, and an undead Pegasus shits on uh, patients. <laughs> Encounter shit as a reaction. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, the two of you on the ground, you see a couple guys, you know, a guard running. One of them sees you and goes over and says, what are you two doing here? If you're here to help, the fighting's down at the dock ward and stuff. We've also heard some people going to Blackstaff. If you're not here to help and fight, you need to get to safety. Avoid the city of the dead. Do not go there. The safest place is North Ward. That's the safe. That's where all the civilians go. So either go and help or run away. Go, 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 go. And he starts running again. I'm going to keep fly alongside of him and keep pace for a second. We don't have any of those um, sending stones among us. They're all at home. So we're flying. He went to the ground and talked to them. So you're in the sky with the patients. Yeah, so I'm gonna like go down and, and as he's like running away, I'm gonna just gonna zoom alongside him. So, uh, <gasps> hi, weird question, <gasps> what year is it? 
What year is it? What does that matter, man? What year is it? under attack by the forces of Nauru. No, we're sorry. From Merkel. Wrong campaign. That's that's when you go. No, come here, come here, come here, come here. Now focus. Yeah. What year yeah, is I was, it? I was about to say, can I make an unarmed strike? Yeah, basically Lord the same. God. I'm thinking the same thing that um, Rogue is. Can we roll like a history check to tell that we're he missed traveled? <laughs> you slap yourself. <laughs> I got a three. <laughs> I, did, I I didn't roll. I didn't roll crit You're not fail. Used but I used to flying. You've never flied before. You go to smack him and you just dive bomb into the street. <laughs> I like to think that he tries to like he like goes upside the back of the head, but he misses, and he just ends up like doing like a like a corkscrew oh, turn oh. in midair, trying to balance himself out. What year is it, Tamu? It is. What? It doesn't matter what year it is. He's like, ah, Google. Ah. We were gone a really long fucking time. Now, if you want us to help, you gotta tell us some things. Oop. I think I looked up the wrong yeah. one. Yeah. I don't think Tana's that concerned. She's gonna start running the blackboard. I need. I, Ro is personally interested to know if we're in the past or if we're in the future. Welcome to 8th edition Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Note that sometimes people use the same term for uh, multiple events. Some are fictional. Some are real events that are very sad. Oh, um, oh! It's like it's 1358. Is Eighth Edition really sad? And no, the name for this event is also the name for um, something that apparently happened in history that was not too pleasant. Oh, um, in real life? Yeah. Yikes. Um. But yeah, he's like, it's, it's 1358, crazy man. That's, Move! That's Thanks, about, lad. The city. That's about 150 years in the past. Okay. Ow, sorry, the dog just sat on my foot. So uh, in the chat, my 25 history check for all of this, um, based on that information, would I know now when we are like, in terms of like historical events and what the fuck is happening right now? It's pretty obvious for anyone who... Um, Takes a few seconds. Okay, for those of us who don't remember the actual lore of water, I'm deep, letting your characters know. Okay, because I'm like, does Raw tell everyone else? Or... I will once I know what I'm going to be telling them. Yes. Well, I can tell you all at once, so I don't have to repeat the story. Patience flies over towards North Ward because he can't really see from here, and he's trying to see if Should the kids it, are okay. I'll just so split the party. <laughs> we're lost in back in time, and we're gonna split the party. Wait, does Patience still have his leash on? Who's who's controlling that now? You're controlling you now? <laughs> no one else has the ring. Oh, gosh. I forget Why didn't we give it to, like, Thana or something? I, I mean, did it I'm it not any more reliable than him, because he took off toward Northward, and I started running the other way. I'm heading to the docks. Yeah, only, just... He only trusted the orc paladin because she was irresponsible, and he knew she wouldn't abuse the power. Oh, for Oh sake. man, that means I was gonna say I'm offended, but I'm really not. What's yeah. What's Serene doing in all of this? She's just been kind of standing around quietly with us. She's like, uh, She's like watching the madness. I don't think this plus one weapon was worth it. <laughs> no. Okay. So, judging by the time and knowing history, all of you only a few months ago celebrated this day. This is the day of the Battle of Waterdeep when Marco, the god of the dead, invaded the city with his army in order to get the tablets of fate to become the one true god of Faerun. He was defeated, and the new gods, the new Mistra and everything, rose up. Which, by the way, the two spellcasters, you feel weird. Like, you know how you, when you enter the wild magic, you guys are like, this is, this is tingly. You feel like the weave that you draw upon is just like, not there, and occasionally a storm of it like washes over you, and other points you just dead zones and stuff, almost as if the goddess of magic is dead. Yeah, patience is an idiot, and he didn't go to history <clears throat> class. He Which, used... by the way, your fly spell was lucky that that went off without a hitch. Oh. I'm sure it was because he. You do feel oh. weirdness in your stomach. Probably because he's panicking and wondering if the kids are getting eaten by ghouls. So he's flying. Oh, he just, He's dumb. He's not like, oh, we went to the past. He's just like, oh, oh crap, I just caused an invasion somehow. I gotta stop it. 
Shannon <laughs> looks to Serene, and I'm like, I'm running after him. You, or I'm going to Doc Ward. You want to uh, <laughs> hitch a ride? I know I'm fast as shit. You're going to ride the dwarf? Like a after, mouse? <laughs> after I find out the date, I'm going to double back and convene with Thana and Serene and update them on what's going on and suggest perhaps we don't want to go to the Doc Ward right now, but we need to get patients back and form a plan of what to do. He very clearly flew towards where our house is. Oh, yeah. What's in the dock war, Thana? The fucking battle. I but Patience is heading towards our, where our house is going to be in 100 years. And he's Mind you, this is while Thana's running fucking full tilt. <laughs> That's fine. He can keep up. Um, I mean, or he'll be flying really, and like but... grab her by the back of the pack and let her just drag him like a kite. <sighs> What the fuck is going on, Rogue? We're in the past, Dennett. Watch We're in the Battle of Waterdeep. We're 100 years back. Do we find... Patience fucking push the time travel button. Do we find a samurai? And not that far in the past. Okay. No, actually, that would be the future. Never mind. If this is time travel, then the kids aren't at the tavern. You go yes, get him. I'm going to see if I can help. Well, how do I find you again? I'll be at Dark Ward. Follow the, the, the path of punches. I don't know. I'll just look for the place with no walls to climb. All right. Wait, All do right, you think it's a good you. idea to split up? I'll peel off. Serene, you go with Lena. I'll find patience and double back later. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> no one responds to Serene's. Should Aww. we not split the party? I tried that. Thought I was insistent. So... While flying towards there, are any of the Griffin Cavalry like intersecting on the way there? Maybe not running into me per se, but like they come within my field of vision, like flying towards the dock ward or something. Yeah, you see a couple flying towards Blackstaff Tower. Okay, um, patients will fly over towards one of them and be like, Sorry. just be more what? like, what, what's going on? What the heck is happening? Marco has invaded with his armies of the dead. What? Yeah, they're coming from the yawning portal. And the guard and the you know city of the dead where there's tons of dead. I mean, it makes sense too. But yeah, we're going to Blackstaff. The a large contingent of death riders are going there. Has the North Ward been attacked at all? No, they're focusing at Blackstaff and Dock Ward. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll join you. I'm part of. Ooh. I'm part of the. Yeah. Um, I, I forget out of character, but in character, the the magist the, the, the magic whatever the water demon has. Magistrate. Yeah, because I, I did. Might not be a thing yet. They are. Okay. Because I did register, so I'm not registered in this timeline. But he he thinks it's still present somehow. Do they have a badge? There's papers, but right now they're getting any help they can. Yeah, so I I joined them with Blackstaff and. Sorry to make it like double. Yeah, to render two areas at once. But hold on, rendering. Okay. Meanwhile, Thanos running at ninety <laughs> feet around towards the dock ward. Serena is like, oh. <laughs> why? <laughs> should have written the door. <laughs> I should have. I should have accepted the fly spell. <laughs> I'm still faster. I think. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I mean, I don't, know. A, I don't know if you can dash with fly. That's always well, been kind of a weird thing. Fly is straight can. 60, but um, he can fly over top of the buildings while you got to weave around on the streets. So I'll... That's fair. There's nothing stating Parkour. that you your, your movement speed becomes your fly speed, yeah. at least with like like with boots of flying. Like If it has a fixed movement speed, then that's it. But your your fly speed is going to be basically equivalent to your movement speed, unless it has a, a written value for it. So, yeah, you can dash with it. I'll double There's check. There's nothing preventing it. So. I don't think it matters here, but I'll double check. All right, as you guys get to the dock ward, you see full ghoulish, ghastly creatures like ah. I'm sorry, the dog is just rolled over yeah. on my foot. I have my foot on the side, and he's just like full. Jesse's right. He, if he dashes, it's 120. It, okay. You gain that movement speed. It's not once nice. per turn. It's 60 feet flying. Okay, so it's slightly faster than me. I'm gonna try and run up and, and fucking shank a ghoul. Alright, so the two who are 
Athena and Serene roll initiative. Because they're really? like, could you guys split the party? I'm sorry, Kevin. Oh, fuck nuts. Are there any kind of like flying hostiles on the way to me intercepting patients? Uh, the creatures you guys are going to fight are much, 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 much tougher. Great. Great. I mean, they're spawn of death god, so. I mean. Yeah, but we're, we're two big badass casters. We got this, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh. Santa goes a big old eight. Oh, I got not much better. Seven. <laughs> I mean, not much. Yeah, about the yeah, same. It's lucky. Yeah. It's, it's, it's lucky. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. What did you roll for your your initiative, Serene? Like on your dice? Oh, I rolled a five, and it's plus two, so I got seven. Kevin, what did the enemy roll for their initiative? They rolled a five plus three. So everybody who rolled All initiative got five. Three of us rolled a five on our dice. <laughs> damage to your dex kitchen? Uh, my bonus to my dex is plus three. Roll off. Damn. Dexter's undead. Uh, 11. You are the greater. Woo! Athena, as you see these three ghouls, like, or ghasts, are like, ah! Yeah, I want to fucking run up and, and do, like, a cool jumpy thing and plunge my sword into its chest. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. Yes. Yes, it does. Um, this is not sneak attack because I don't have advantage. Um, uh, that is, hang on, uh, five points of fire damage and five points of, um, piercing damage. Whoa, tiger uppercut with the fire damage? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I have a, a flame tongue sword. Oh. Uh, they do not have free resistance to anything except <clears throat> necrotic, so unless it's necrotic, just tell me your full numbers. Cool, good to know. Um, give me two seconds because I'm trying to see... Oh, cool. When I hit another creature with a melee attack, I can spend a key point to attempt a stunning strike, so I can do that with a uh, sword, so mm-hmm. I need him to make a con save. I'm going to attempt to stun him. Kong of 12. Uh, he fails. He's stunned. And I now have advantage on attacks against him, so I get sneak attack if I hit. Oh, come on. That was so close to a 20. Uh, 25 to hit. That hits? Yeah. Do you just, oh, do you just, get a 20. Since you're a rogue monk and you're doing a sneak attack as a monk, do you just go like <laughs> to its head? Mm-hmm. I mean, basically. She's basically going <laughs> to Oh, like Ricky O, that really horrible but amazing movie. Anyone see that? I mean, the way I was uh, flavoring it, I jumped up and fucking tried to stab him in the chest, so I probably stabbed him pretty damn close to the heart. Undead organs. I don't think it matters. Well, I mean, apparently it does a little bit because he's stunned. (laughs) Um, Da-da-da-da-da. No, you're like a henchman. He's just stunned because of how well you hit him. You could do the old famous damage. Uh, double ear clap. <laughs> That'll ring someone's bell pretty effectively. Uh, yeah. And then I'm going to conserve my key points and just do one um, unarmed strike. Okay. Oh, that one's not as good. That's a 15 to hit. Hits. With advantage? Oh, uh, yeah, with advantage. I rolled an 8 and 9 for 5 points of damage. Oh god, Uber cool. Why are they Uber? Sun. Your turn. Yee. I don't know how well you can hear it, but this uh, fight music actually sounds pretty badass. Do all the ghouls have like uh, a kiss tongue? Where they're just like, ah. Yeah. Okay, you definitely heard that one, I'm sure. 17 to hit Donna? Right. No, I didn't do patient defense. Ten damage and con save. What's your minimum con? 
Um, a five. Bro. Oh, I'm not sure what your saves are at this point, so that's why. Well, I, I don't, saying. I, yeah, monks don't have proficiency in con saves. What? No, I have strength and dex. They don't have proficiency in concentration. Monks. No. 9 to 13th level. Then they get proficiency in everything. Okay. okay. Uh, it doesn't matter, because I got a 22. You're not paralyzed. <laughs> and serene turn. Only one of them gets to do that, because the stunned asshole doesn't get an action this turn. Does. I mean, unless he's immune to stunned, in which case I shouldn't Almost have got advantage. <laughs> final battle music. I'm not feeling the battle part. I mean, it's definitely tense. Yeah. Where'd these tents come from? God damn it. <laughs> so there are, what, two ghouls? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. I'll do a stabby stab, I guess. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's, uh, hang on. Yeah, that's 19 on the dice, so. That definitely hits. Okay. Um. Oh, dang, it's been a while since I used it. <laughs> Wait, um, are you? Uh, rapier is 1d8. Oh, okay, thank you. Are you, are, right? Yeah. Are you stabbing the stunned one? The what? One of them is stunned and one of them isn't. Are you stabbing the stunned one or the other one? I'll stab the other one. Yeah. The... <laughs> the one that's trying to paralyze Thana. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that is nine on the dice. Nine damage. And your second attack? I got one of those. Oh. Yeah, fight fighters get a lot of attacks. Oh. Nope. That's a two. That, that misses. Because I don't think you get a plus 11. Not yeah. not at this level. No. no. Not yet. All right. Dana. Yeah, I've got to continue to pummel on the guy that's uh that I had been. He's not stunned anymore, though. I like to think you're literally using the pummel of your flame tongue sword. <laughs> No, don't. You heard a dice hit the floor. Do not eat my dice. Sorry, I dropped my dice and the dog comes barreling down the stairs as fast as he can. Ooh, that's an 11 to hit. I'm assuming that's a miss. Yeah. Um, attack number two with the flame tongue. That is a 16. That is. Uh, and fuck it, I want to stun him again. You and Serena are both fighting this one. No, we're not. She uh, she went for the uninjured one. Oh, you want to be stunned? Yeah. Um, but uh, he needs to make a con save because I'm going to spend another key point and attempt to stun him again. That is 10. That's a fail. Bitch is stunned. Uh, 14 points of damage. And bonus action, um, unarmed strike. At advantage. Jeez. That's very, uh, that very sounds like ghouls, actually, so. Yeah. I think it's the troll, but that actually works really damn well. Yeah. Uh, that's another 19. So, yeah, that's a 25 to hit. Um, and I get sneak attack this time. But I don't get the flame tongue damage because I'm not using that. I'm using the fist. Um, seven points of damage. Exactly. Mm. Wow. Oh, this is just the brawl music for the awning portal. Nice. <laughs> I assume they're scrolling there. So, one stun. Correct. Troll, trolls a lot louder. <laughs> Sean oh from Power God. Score used it, and wow. Does 19 hit Serene? Yes. Okay, so I take 10 damage and con save. Wait a minute, is Serene an elf? No, she's a tiefling. Elf. Oh. oh. I didn't mind. 
Being an elf would be really bad right now because schools are like ooh, extra tasty. Yeah, um, but elves are uh, elves used to be immune or resistant to that thing. You, uh, that's yeah, uh, I don't remember if it's a that's for me. No. I got a fourteen on my con save. Okay, that makes it. And Serene's turn. Woo! Yay! Stab the one with my rapier, the one that just tried to attack me. Oh, that's a nat twenty. <laughs> Oh! Wait, are we using it? Yeah, we've been using it so far, right? Okay, Kelly. Kelly, oh, we got. Really? We have a, we have crit table for both crit fails and crit successes from here. So okay. you're gonna have to roll a d hundred and tell me what you got for your crit. <laughs> your crit does the normal double damage, but the, it also has a bonus on top of it. Okay. Uh, fifty three. Fifty three. You're staying. <laughs> Your staggering blow makes the target. This is so ironic. It makes the ghoul nauseous and it is poisoned. Till the end of your next turn. That makes his next attack have disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, you do do your normal double damage. Okay. So, it's not like it's it's a rider on top, not a replacement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That is uh max damage, so hang on a second. Holy fuck balls. Uh Fatality. That's twenty-two. Holy shit. Yeah, you you pull a Mortal Kombat finisher where you like crush the liver. It's still uh, undead. Um, <laughs> but it looks exceedingly like it's not Fuck gonna be much longer. Uh, uh, that was her that, first attack. Yeah, so your second attack. Uh, so it's just standing there like... <laughs> that's 16. It's... They both probably look like that, because one's poison now and one's stunned. Wait, are they um, immune to poison? Yes. Oh. oh. Never mind. But it's, it's, she still gets her second attack. Immune to poison condition. Yeah, that poison damage. Well, that's, yeah, many, that's yeah. what that would have done, is the yeah. condition. Either way. That's four damage. It's dead. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so, uh, back to Thena, as you have the one who's like, uh, Yeah. Put him in a headlock. <laughs> uh, scabby scab. <laughs> You haven't realized That's the head. 17. And the second strike. Oh, fuck me. That's a nat one on the second strike. With hey! The Hold up. Hold up. Ah. Okay, well, the first. Oh, shit. I, I swear it's like a chain reaction. If we get any crits, it seems like it just encourages more crits. Uh, 16 thing. from the, the first strike. Dead. Um. Well, the first strike killed him, so okay. when it actually needed a roll, that's the second hit. Okay, this, this will require a uh, cooperation between both Thena and the DM. So, a random non-magical item determined by the DM drops out of your backpack. The climbing kit? <laughs> the snowshoes? No. I mean... But no. did I... Did I... Your feet drops. My feet drop. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, technically you wouldn't have actually done the second attack since the first one killed potentially. Oh, then whatever. Yeah. Meanwhile, across water deep, <laughs> Ross flying. You see patience and some Griffin cavalry flying towards um um Blackstaff Manor. We've got to protect the wall. The walkers have gotten to the city. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, random griffin rider. Yeah. Come on, you do it. Just like shoves a random ghoul into an outhouse. You would make a good quill. <laughs> so. so, as Roll catches up with you, you two of you are flying, and you see a squad of like eight griffin riders flying next to you. And as they're flying, you just see this beam of necrotic energy take most of them out as a 
skeletal dragon just flies up into them. Do you wish to engage the skeletal dragon? Or uh, yes. He is mad at this thing. Yes. How dare it. So, okay. he flies up towards it. Uh, I wish I had the best of both worlds where I had Pact of Blade and <laughs> Pact of Toe. Right? He was, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Wait, what, what action is that? Because he's going to do something dumb. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, he always does something dumb, but... Initiative. Okay, yeah, it's a, it would take an action for me to do this, so... Ooh. Uh, 13. The reason for that look, I rolled a 5 on this dice. <laughs> almost every roll. 15 for me. <sighs> Alright, Ross turn. Uh, okay, um, as, how far off is this skeletal dragon? Like, within, um, within engaging distance? You can engage. He's very nice. He's like, hey, what's up? Mm-hmm, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> uh. yeah, no, actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my action this round to, to get us set up for the run, and he's gonna go ahead and cast Aura of Vitality, and... Rose percentage. Oh, right. We're casters in a weird ass magic zone. This yeah, is, we're smart. This is totally fine. Ninety-eight. I hope hive's good. Oh wait, what? Oh no, on your turn, not mine. I'm like, wait, shit. <laughs> Let me guess. As you and the era of dick. So. It's such a concerning look. Don't don't do that. Yeah, we're we're dead. What's the duration of or vitality? Uh, the duration is concentration up to a minute. <gasps> oh no. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. What's Convert. the duration on your fly spell, there, buddy? Ten minutes. Convert. Oh, good. Convert. Conversion. 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 Okay. Sorry, there's conversion issues because turn is different in the different editions. Uh, so yeah, you cast a spell and it almost feels like the weave and forces it to the point where you don't need to concentrate on it. Holy shit. Neat. But it only lasts a minute. That's okay. It only lasts its full duration without concentration. Yeah, I mean, only. That's, that's, the, um, that's, that's fine. This is fine. The 2E version is whatever spell you cast lasts one turn, which is 10 rounds. This applies to all spells that would have been affected. Fireball, if you had cast it and rolled that, would have been continuously in effect for one full Wait, or 10 just rounds. Out of it would just be a floating ball of fire, essentially? Yeah. Okay. Neat. So this spell technically isn't really as affected, but there you go. It could have gone really weird. Yeah. Patience. Um. Let's see. My main problem, like all spellcasters, is I'm using a concentration spell. So, and I don't want to stall fall to our deaths. So, he is flying up, and he's trying to like flank behind it. Um. Or as far as he can with the 60 feet, 60 feet move mm -hmm. of fly. And in Infernal, he says, um, looking at this thing with glowing orange eyes. Um, there should be nothing left of your bones after the damage you've done to these innocent gods. As I cast Vicious Mockery. All right, percentage. A, yeah, all right, GG. As I turn into a bunny rabbit. Flying bunny rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw what you 
would love to see a flying rabbit that could be amazing. 33. <laughs> um, hmm. Let me see what that does. Harry, he's doing laundry. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. Oh my god, play with me. Somebody pay attention to me. <laughs> okay, so that's not that strong. Uh, okay. okay. Sure. What's, what kind of save is this? A wis- it's a wisdom saving throw. 16? Uh, 16 passes, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then... Another one. Uh, I don't know. Ain't gonna do shit. Hey, that sounds like okay. me. Oh wait, what's your spell level? Two or three? Can it's a cantrip. Okay. No, just it's a different thing. What level? Are How you? many levels of warlock do I have? Um, warlocks cast your level at maximum. What spell slot level is that? It's not a spell slot, it's a cantrip. No. What well, would it, it be? It's a separate effect. Well, vicious Mockery doesn't use a level, though. It's no, a level this zero. is not Vicious Mockery. What level it's did you cast spell. Fly at? Oh, at third. I, well, I cast at fourth. Fourth? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's fourth level slot. I'm just seeing if this actually would do anything. I, I didn't know you were talking about Fly. I'm like, why? What? Hmm. Okay, so it wouldn't be strong enough. But as you viciously mocked him, the words from your mouth came out as a colorful spray of prismatic energy and hit the dragon. He just kind of like, you know, waves off because it, his hit points are too hard for Harry. to attack him. Um, hey, Ted, get over here. But yeah, so essentially, you cast Vicious Mockery and Color Spray. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, color three didn't do jack to the thing, apparently. So it's turned into Yellow Submarine, where I talk and like the, the words actually appear. It's turn. <laughs> As it turns, and I forgot an ability. Legendary action? Wisdom saves. Oh, no. Oh, dragon fear. Haha, <laughs> 20. 30, 20. Hold on. See, wait. My whiz mod. Pretty sure it was 30, 20. 18, not yep. bad. 30, 20. I don't know if it's good or bad for you, but you guys pass. There are few more. Um. Don't you love when you have to run two combats at once? Uh-huh. That's why I finished the one before I jumped to the second one. Yeah. You could go the suicide route like Perkins, where you have three different fights going on in three different locations, but they're all in the same initiative account. Yeah, fuck that noise. That's, that's, that's nightmare mode. And he somehow did it, and somehow, as a viewer, I was able to understand what was going on. I'm like, mm-hmm. what? What? How are you doing this? I'll, I'll be ripping out my hair. I like that guy right there, the one I just roared. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. What is Patience's armor class? Uh, let's see. It doesn't matter what your armor class is. He hit you. I mean, does it not? Maybe. Maybe. I still need to know, but. Did he get over 20? Yeah, it hits. Yeah. Same as Raw. He got over 20. Um, so, My AC is 20. Yeah. So, Patience, you took 14 damage. Raw took 16. As he claws Patience, tail slaps um, Raw, then turns around and bites one of the uh, Griffins. Not the Rider, the Griffin. He's like... Does the Rider fall to his death? Uh, no. The Griffin dead. But I know, I know two who do, though, because I failed my concentration check. Oh, shit! <laughs> Do you have feather? Do either of you have feather fall? 
Rob? I do. <laughs> oh! <laughs> We're falling to I our do. deaths. My concentration fell off the uh, fall, the fly damage and all that. Okay. Um, then, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rip that son bitch out. And a percentage with it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Woo! A hundred! Oh, no. That's not good. Why is I that don't not know. good? Judging by Kevin's you, face, is not good. Usually on a random chart, the one or the hundred are always really bad. How many people are affected by Featherfall normally? Uh, oh. Up to five. You don't really know an effect other than um, one of the other Griffin Riders who is falling is also feather falling down with you. You increase the effectiveness by 200%. Holy shit. Great. That means we're like slowing or really slow falling, right? As the dragon goes. Oh. We're falling 60 feet around. So how high up would you 30 think feet are? around now. Oh, for, if it's doubling our if it's doubling our effectiveness and spell. Well, it might be doubling the range. I think he was um, trying to say. And range, like how many... duration, area effect, damage. It's all. So would you say we would... 120 feet? I can affect up to 10 creatures, falling at 30 feet per second, or 30 feet per round for two minutes. Yeah, I was about to say, does our fall go at half the fall it was going before, since it's twice as effective? I mean, it doesn't really change much. So sure. Well, I mean, how far are we in the air? Um, 200 feet or something? You're like 100 some feet in the air. Okay. So you guys like, oh, this our life. Okay, so important question that, uh, in the private chat for you, uh, Kev. Um, oh, so many things happened afterwards. So, wait. Uh, There's only two back from the chat log. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And back to oh. Terry, you don't have to follow her to the bathroom. Here. So, the two of you eventually slow fall to the ground. Um, as we're slow falling, mm -hmm. what was my turn next? Yeah. How far away is the dragon? Um, 30 feet. Okay, it needs a Christmas saving throw. What are you using? I'm using a fourth level spell. Okay, you know it all. Um, okay. Um, use my last spell slot. Um, darn it, I can never fully remember. Uh, 35 on the chart, I cast Banishment on it. I don't think it's banished. Yeah, you won't notice the effect for that for a while. Hmm. Yeah, it succeeded, so it was not banished in any way. It didn't even go to the pocket yeah. thing. Just wanted to make sure. So, patience, dragon, seems to be ignoring you. Bro, you're about 60 feet from it. That, that was the last thing I was going to do before we landed or whatever. Okay, so you uh, unless uh, unless oh, you're saying back. that I had elevation, like like if I, unless you're saying that I was at or, or above his his level, then I guess I'm gonna have to do something while falling. Uh, sure, shit can't fly. I don't have the spell on my own. No, I don't. Um, if patience was a wise caster, you would have tried fly again. With his... If he was, yeah. Um, I'm gonna hold my action, and I'm gonna yell at. Uh, I'm gonna yell at patience. Do it again. Get us up there. I'm out. Are you out of spells for the day? That was my last chance. Oh, for the hour. Ah, book. 
all right. He knows this is going to be just a, a really desperate move, but he's going to go ahead and go for it. Um, I need the dragon to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, Nineteen. Shit, it makes it, but I got to roll a percentile anyway. So mm-hmm. forty-one. Turn into an eggplant. No, I was just going to try and go at him into coming down after them. Says, Why don't you come down here and fight us like a real man? No. As he attempts a vicious mockery. Hmm. What's your wisdom? Raw. Pick one random item of yours. Non magical okay. random item. Okay. Um, I guess I drop a dagger. Or a thing happens to a dagger. You don't know. You don't drop the dagger, but something happened to the dagger. Okay. Just like when you land and patient gets up, his footprints are bestial. Oh my! Like more like oh no way. Hold on. His footprints or his yeah. feet? Footprints. Just the footprints. Oh, just cool. the footprints. Okay. You're going to be impossible to track now. You want to go with like hooves or something to go with that yeah, fiendish quality? Yeah. Yeah. Just oh no! Make, make, make him paws. Just to really fuck with people. Oh. Like he's a tiefling, but he's got paws. What? Oh, chicken. Oh no! I'm a tiefling in second edition. Oh boy. All right. Oh. So meanwhile, back at the dock ward. As you guys are doing the thing, do the thing, Julie. Yeah, I'm just looking to see what, who in this fight might need help. Uh, I am aware I can't really take on a demon. As you say that, you (gasps) see a demon. (laughs) What kind of demon? Nice. Is this a Murdy Curdy demon? Murdy Curdy? Murdy Curdy? Give me a second to try to find someone else here. All right, you see a demonic creature from the waist down is a equine. It's got like a sharp tail. It, I have to show you a fucking picture. Sure. Ooh, language. Oh, okay. Wow, no thanks. As it just finished killing a child. Oh. So, so wait, he's the god of the dead, but he also has demons? <laughs> um, no, re- oh, god damn it, Graham. Merkel's realm was in the gray waste, neutral evil, so he's got demons and devils also serving. Oh, cool. And by cool, I mean, oh no. I look to Serene. I look at that thing. You want to do this? I mean, if you want to, we could still go double back and try to find guys. <laughs> There is something ginormous. Oh my god. What? There's like an ant on my wall and it's huge. I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> adding to I'm adding so to stupid. I'm what? gonna go punch a fucking demon. Oh god. Stab it. it just killed a child. Roll initiative. <sighs> you see you guys have gone like what? Two months of game? No combat? I know. That's a, oh, the combat. That's a big old four. No, not 14, 12, 12. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got a four. I, I like oh, to think yeah. this is just Serene being reluctant on like everything that's happening. I'm not too keen on fighting a demon, but you know. I mean, I'm not either, but it just killed a child. That is not really okay oh. with that. Trade you. Yeah. You can punch the shit out of the bones, and we can. I can't have the at, at least, at up. least it's not that one. That's what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Cause that thing's a ghoulish demon, to say the least. Um, deck saves the two of you. Good. Oh, that's really good. That's a twenty-one. 
Uh, 19. You both pass, so I have damage. Nice. 13 electrical damage. As it sees the two of you, raises the sand, and this electrical javelin appears, and he's like, Oh, the Stark The smart thing to do would be to see that thing coming. Isn't that something Kentaru leave? in Mortal Kombat does? Yep. And that's also uh, a big um, signature spell in Dark Souls. They throw lightning spears. Like there's Zeus or something. I think somebody played too much Dark Souls in old Mortal Kombat. <laughs> anyway, it is now Thena's turn. What? That demon's from second edition, right? Might be. It's just a joke as it looks a lot like the other guy, too. Yeah. He changed the appearance. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking stab a demon! Yeah. Half the fire damage. Oh, great. Great, great. That's a 15 to hit. That misses. Great. Whee. Wow. The descent isn't even out yet. That's also ready. a 15. We're not even in the descent yet, and we're in the descent. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray. Green's turn. Hang on. I have a bonus action oh. I haven't used. Oh. Crying is a free action. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to do Flurry of Blows. That is probably hit. That's a dirty 20. That does it? Okay. Now here's the question. My fists aren't magical. Should I bother rolling damage? Go for it. It is not immune to magic. So. Oh no would have um, seen something like that after you. And but did I? I am hoping that it rolls a one. <laughs> it ne it needs a of con save. Con. It did not roll one. <sighs> I have a DC of fourteen. It rolled a seven total. It fails. It's fucking stunned. Yes, it is. I stunned a demon. Hell yeah. Yay! <laughs> My solar flex. I just uh, punch it. Thane. I was gonna say I punch it in the nuts, but it's a horse, so definitely not. Thana, um, Thana of Clan Wallfaller, stunner of <laughs> demons. Um, uh, six Clan Wallfaller. And the second strike has advantage because it's stunned. Oh, uh, that's a twenty-one. That hits. And then get sneak attack for um hang on man uh eight points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, yeah, no, and I because I'm a drunken monk when I use flurry of bows, I can also disengage and get in ten feet to my movement as a um part of that. So I'm gonna do that. Wait, you you would use a bonus action. Huh? No, it's when I do flurry of bows. I can do, I get the two unarmed attacks and I can disengage as part of that action. Okay. That's Serene's turn. I thought you said Fury of Bows. And I'm she like, you're throwing, Fury you're throwing monks. Fury of Bows, yeah. Whoops. You're throwing a bunch of critical role monks at him? Yep, definitely. <laughs> you guys are higher level. I just thought it'd been like she was like really aggressively shouldering people out of the way, like throwing bows, right? Like, <laughs> I'm out of arrows. I'll throw this instead. Sure, no, no, like like elbows, movement. like throwing bows, right? Like she's like getting her elbows up and like. So serene. Um, I try it's to done, hit it. So you have advantage. Yay! Okay. It's, uh, it's a demon oh. centaur. Get on its back. Ah. It's gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get another dice out. Dang it. Okay. GG dice. GG. Uh, let's say 17. 17 hits. Okay. Whee! <laughs> uh, eight damage. And then... Uh... That's a nine on the dice, so I say... Snow. All right. So we don't need help yet. So it goes back to him. He is stunned, correct? Correct. So to you, I guess, because I don't think stun he can do any reactions. Yeah, you can do any react actions or um reactions. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so Theta. <sighs> 
again. She go back up. Ah, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that's a dirty twenty. That hits. Pop off its tail and use it as a weapon. Do I attempt to stun him again, or do I do patient defense? Mm -hmm. this, uh... Oh shit, that's really good damage. Um, that's a lot of damage. Uh, 18, oh shit, hang on. Um, 10 points of damage, fire damage, so 5. Mm -hmm. And 8 points of piercing damage. So 13? Okay. And I'm gonna just hit again. I'm not gonna use my last key point. Oh shit, that's really good. That's a 25 to hit. Yes. Um, Serene is in melee, right? Yes. Can I do sneak attack damage? No. Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> Such a swing of emotions. Um, uh, six points of fire damage, so three, and six points of piercing damage. And I'm gonna conserve my last key point. I'm just gonna fucking punch him. Uh, eh, eh, 15 misses, right? Yes. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. That's, that's what I did. Eh. All right, Serene's turn. Woo. As you guys are slowly. Oh, it gets its turn back if I don't know yeah. when it goes. It's or... not. It's not stunned. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's eighteen. That hits. We. Armor class is sixteen. You guys, you guys have been doing it enough. You should figure it out easily. That's ten damage. Mm -hmm. That was good first attack. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nope, got a four. Turn. I'm noticing the pattern with Serene. She always hits the first one, but she doesn't hit the second one. I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. know. <laughs> uh. Armor class of Athena. Mm, Sixteen. Oh wow, nice on that attack. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! And that 20? Fucking crit! It one. crit one! Yeah! Keep its tail! It chops off its own tail. Keep it. 22. 22. <laughs> Does it have any weapons? No. Damn it. It would have thrown it. <laughs> <laughs> it it throws its tail. It would have thrown it 10 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it hit Serene with its tail. Oh, no. Dealing 16 damage. Ow. I told you. I, uh, I had the wrong armor class before. My armor class is 18. So, does it still hit? Yes. But oh. that is good to you're, know. You're, you're, okay. you're, you're duelist, right? That's why. Um, no, I I have a, I have a shield and, like, another... And are you using it, are you no. wielding it right now, or are you, like, I'm... rapier in the one hand? Yeah. Okay. I got, got a 22 to hit, so... Okay, Oof. so how many, how much damage? 13? 16. 16, yay! As it slices you with its tail, it's like... And now, Thanos turn. You guys got this. This is fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. 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 Um, I'm gonna do the same stupid shit again. I'm just gonna punch it a lot. That's a miss. That's a fucking ten. Attack number two with the flame tongue is a twenty-one. Woo! And I do sneak attack because my friend is right there with me. Boom. For five points of fire damage, so two and six. 
seven points of piercing damage. Then I'm just gonna punch him with my unarmed attack. Okay. Uh, that's a um, 14. No, that misses. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, Serene that's what I do. Mm. Ooh, okay. Nope, that's a three. Oh no. And that's a five. So, nope. All right, it's turn. <laughs> well, Athena, you take a grand total of 22 damage from a claw on a plate, and it's still Miss Serene. Yikes. Demons, man. Hey, they can mess you up. 22, you said? Total. Okay. Okay. I'm alive. I'm not doing well. They missed her. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It cool. looks very bad, too. Oh, Sorry. good. Goody. Good. Great. Fantastic. I'm going to punch it again. I'm going to stab it again. There he goes. Where's snacks? What was he trying to eat? He saw Joanne walk by with something. No. Um, that is a 25 to hit. Four, da, 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 seven points of fire damage, so three, and 11 points of piercing damage. Um, attack number two with mm -hmm. the flame tongue is a 24 to hit. Mm -hmm. Four, four points of fire, so two, two fire and nine piercing. Good. Oh, shit. Hooray. <sighs> <sighs> okay. We should find the others. Two more. Two <laughs> Good more. idea. <laughs> two more show up. <laughs> I am... I am hurt, but I am actually doing pretty okay. As you guys I'm also hurt. Yeah. As you're walking, you see a nice size horse just standing there. Almost like you could get on and I'm gonna go fucking faster. do that. I mean, oh, a magical horse from the sky. Yeah, no, a horse is definitely faster. As you're riding it away, someone comes out of a building. My horse! It's fucking more, man. I'm not really hurt by this um can we do a perception check to see if we can see any of the magic that our two idiot friends are throwing around you can't really okay. beg your pardon i know they were heading toward north ward i know they were heading mm -hmm. to home so i'm going that way meanwhile <laughs> Do you really want me to use that transition or not? Because I mean, if you want to, it's, it's up to you. Um, <laughs> so, patience. Raw. You're on the ground. You see the dragon just kind of flying off to engage in other fights. More uh, interesting fights. Patience Where are we? Where did we land? Patience shakes his fist at it, the one that has the black glove of tear. Oh, you are probably... Maybe half a mile from Blackstaff Tower. But okay, what's going on in our immediate vicinity? You're looking around, and oddly enough, it's a quiet, a little too quiet in this little area. Um, oh, great. Patience has a, we'll say, from that attack from the, because he's hurt. And you are too, because we both got hit by the skeleton dragon, right? Uh -huh. Say there's like a convenient cut like up here and like the blood's going down, being all edgy and shit. And he's um and he's just like Where are the others? Where'd they go? Fana went down to the dock ward. Patience starts marching towards the dock ward as fast as he you know, like a quick walk. 
Um, yeah, we're also going to go ahead and follow suit, but he's going to go ahead and also use his bonus action to pump some uh, some healing into his both of his aura vitality. Hmm. Mm, right. Turns around. Puts his hand on your shoulder. I, this is a magical effect. It's not a spell. Do we still need to roll? It's my innate warlock healing. The lay on hands. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. Yeah, lay on hands. Or uh, you heal... F Wait, no, it's plus my charisma mod. You heal eight. Nice. Well, um, you... Uh, you will heal twelve as my aura hangs off of you. I'm gonna heal you. No, I heal you. No, I heal you. All right. I heal you, blood knife. All right, let's go. All right, and uh, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep doing that uh, for the rest of the duration. Uh, so. So we full heal essentially. That's what you're telling me. I, I, or however many. I was two HP away from full, so. Oh right, well, then you're full. But I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself for the rest of. Yes. So about four rounds worth, I think. Ten minutes was... later, you find each other. Oh, so his spell is gone. I'm sorry, it takes more than a minute yeah. to walk that distance for most people. Yeah, it, you see these two just ride up on a beautiful horse. Like, okay. <laughs> I killed a demon, guys! Also, I feel like shit. That's great! Uh, we survived a skeletal dragon. That's good to know. Patience we didn't beat up. it, but we're still alive. Patience reaches up on the horse and puts his hand on your knee. And you yeah, heal. Heal Serene. She's more hurt than me. You heal nine. Then he puts his... And then he takes that same hand. It's the, the his offhand that has the shield on it. And he heals Serene. Fourteen. Uh, woo. Thank you. I feel Horse a little better. Like, That's pretty nice of you. Where's my healing? Uh, <laughs> is that was that just you having a large cavern? Did the horse actually fucking talk again? No, it's beast, talk? beast speech. I have you location. Nope, you location. all understood the horse. Just like, oh. That's very nice of you. Oh, he uh, uh, he, th he thinks he's the only one that can hear it, and he just mm -hmm. says, "It's the least." I, I heard that right. It's or the least did I can that, do. Did, did that demon really ring my bell? Wait. No, I. Hello. What's your name? Maxine. Wait. We stole what? a talking horse. Does this look like Maxine? <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Oh. How in the oh. fuck old are you? What are you? I'm a horse. No, what are you really? We know you 100 years in the future. <laughs> Wait, what? I said, what are you really? We know you 100 years from now. Trust me, it'll make sense in the future. But for right now, just trust when I tell you. We know you a hundred years from now. How the fuck Wait. old are you? Wait, what? That's a rude question to ask a woman. What, what do you mean a hundred years from now? We're in the past, Patience. You've dotted off before I could ascertain, but we're in the fucking Battle of Waterdeep. We're oh, in shit. That's what this is? Yes. I we just, should be very careful here. I figured it was the past, but I didn't know exactly what day it was. Shit. <sighs> so you say that, you things see. to go really bad can be really fucking high right now. Magic is acting crazy. We might be able to change the time stream. I don't know what other kind of shit we can get into if we're not careful. We've already fucked up by meeting our friend here, the talking horse. Wait, does that mean that when we go back home, Maxine will know that we know Maxine already? Well, presumably Maxine always knew that we were going to. No, time paradoxes and narratives. Ah! <laughs> Maybe that explains why she was such a dick to us right away. Fucking temporal mechanics. Um, Patience, what? Patience, uh, pets her muzzle and says Ooh, that's nice um muzzle and uh he that's says muzzle? you should you should go somewhere safe thank you for your assistance as i cast guidance on him oh. as i completely ignore the magic's going crazy god damn it patience. percentage if i blow him up i'm gonna be so sad that would explain why she was so standoffish in the first. Uh, 47. Did I blow him up? You cast Guidance, mm -hmm. and all of you see is the horse where Patience is, and Patience on four with Aina and Serena on his back. You exchange spots. <laughs> 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 
What the fuck did you do? What just happened? I'm gonna attempt to dismount patience. I immediately fall prone. I'm 14 strength. I'm not that strong. <laughs> yeah, I weigh 176 pounds, just me. <laughs> not counting my gear. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm already wearing heavy armor. That's why I'm like, yeah, I fall prone. <laughs> <laughs> And as I'm prone, what just happened? Um, should we get to somebody who, like, knows magic? I think perhaps we should go seek out that comes out of the black stuff. I realize they're probably up to their arses in business right now, but, um... As I get, as I get up after you guys get off of me and I stand up, we're, we're in the past, right? Do you think it's uh, bad? We, yeah. we oh, we'll probably see you guys later. Or says plus four to whatever for a while. It's whatever. Time to hey, save more people. Especially a random woman that's just walking around and never explain it later. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Anyway, so. It's deep into history lore that doesn't really matter. Besides being really mattering. Um, the... We should not interfere with the past. Right? I mean, a bit late for that, lad. Well, any, we go and kill the demon. Any, we any more than we can them. help. And we need to go to the black staff and get the fuck out of here. We don't belong here, as far as we know. Should I we... never once heard any stories about people like us in the battle. Should we head back to the mountain? Would anybody even know to have noticed us in this battle? I mean, like, yeah, I killed a demon, but there are a hundred in here. Did you did you happen to beat him up with your bare hands? Eh, a little bit of stabby stuff. A little bit of beating him up with my bare hands. Oh, I mean, I know if I saw somebody punch a demon to death, I'd probably make it. Oh, I just came up with a wicked <laughs> idea. I don't know if anybody even saw it, because there was just shit that. going you on. You see, uh, in the distance, a younger Halam just like... Poof, poof, poof. Nice. I got him. Halam? Is that you? I don't remember you. Wait, who? That's Halam. that old man in the mountain. Oh, shit! Wait, he can punch things? Apparently. Well, at this point, yeah. He's an actual monk. Okay. Okay. He stops a bit. He's like, ah, I feel strange. Almost as if my entire build is changing from this event. Ooh, I have um, key points. Oh. <laughs> almost as if I'm switching from first to second. And there's some weird five people around. Uh, then is going to reach into her backpack and pull out a bunch of potions of healing that I just remembered I had. Um... I'm going to give a, I have two greater. I'm going to give one to Serene and I'm going to hold on to one for myself. Mm -hmm. No, fuck it. What are these for? I'm going to take one and I'm going to give the other one to Serene. Greater healing is what, 44 plus four? Yeah. Oh no, we're doing the second edition. What? I'm, I'm missing with that. <laughs> so missing. <laughs> My wizard, my fucking, yeah, no. Oh, you, you guys the, have heard me bitch about my wizard that has no hit points. You, you drank the whole edition. potion in one go, right? On the same day you drank another potion? Uh-oh, that's going to be a con save. Yeah, yeah. That actually, that rule was still in 5e as an optional yeah. rule. Yeah, I hate it. People rarely use potions anyway. Why punish them for it? I mean, even in 2e, I never used that rule because I forgot about it. Half the time it's like, oh, I punish you guys enough um, with other magic items. And I have three common potion, uh, potions of healing if anybody mm -hmm. wants one. Well, we're, we were here to try to figure out what the heck was happening with that magic disturbance. Apparently it's making, it's a time thing? You think yeah, it, it, we figured it, it, would, it out. It would still be here? I mean, there's no guarantee, but it's uh, at least the best option we've got. Yeah, it's worth a try, I guess. I think we should head back to the mountain. I'm sorry for running off. I thought the kids were in danger. I mean, I did the exact same thing five seconds after saying that you were an idiot for it, so. Uh, I will take one of those potions for later, though, just in case. Sure. You have a common healing potion now. Okay. Anybody else taking me up on them? No, I'm good. Well, you know me. Maybe we should take a rest. That's uh, what I was thinking, actually. 
I would find a little burned out house or something and put up for an hour. The north, the north ward is being protected. It's the only spot that hasn't been fully attacked yet. Ah, okay. Good. We can go there. Oh, there should be some in this. Also, also. I couldn't see it because it was. Got it. The black staff's here, and I'm not sure if it's the same black staff we know. It's the one we know looks awfully young. I, but. That old, the old man's here, so I, and the horse is here, so I, I don't know. She might just look like she's young in our time. I dare say the black stuff is going to have enough power to be able to determine whether or not we're being... Wait a minute. Did there. you say how many years ago this was, just, uh, uh, Rogue? About a hundred. How old is fucking Halam? How old is the fucking horse? Um, he's like, hello, I'm a high-level monk. Well, like, <laughs> oh, I forgot that. Yeah. Um, don't think I'm ever gonna get that high level of monk, so this, it's not a thing I get. We're not gonna survive that long. Well, also just that I, I multi-classed, so I don't think I get that. All right. I An wouldn't. Another campaign group's like, hey, here's a potion longevity. Bye. Mm -hmm. Scott, did you say you oh. gave me a potion of healing? Yes, it is a potion of greater healing, so you can roll four d four plus four. Okay. Crikey. Um, so we're heading to Blackstaff Tower, then? All right. On our way there, are there any, um... Is it like a war zone? Like, are there dead yeah. bodies around everywhere? Mm -hmm. Honestly, Than is feeling a lot better now. She would not be opposed to punching the shit out of anything that looks weak on our trap, on our walk. Um, sure. patience, patience grabs any war, uh, not Warhammer, um... Light hammers that he finds on the way there. They're only D four, but I was I just re realized um, Tear is all about hammers. So. so as you you're walking to Blackstaff Tower, and as you get there, you stop as you see night up, uh, not night riders, death riders attacking the tower, and you see as you look up. Into the sky, a large skeletal figure with a scythe, four arms, and a cloak floating over the tower. Roll histories, everybody. Okay, I'm good at those. Wow. Okay, let's let's go somewhere where it's safe. Maybe go to the worst spot we could be. Okay, I'm really good at those. Is there forms? Yeah. Um, that's a nine. What a nineteen. Eleven. Mm. The rogue bar. Uh, yeah, no, it's a twenty-four. So Serene and Raw are the ones who remember as you guys are approaching. The god Markul met his end at Blackstaff Tower during the Battle of Waterdeep. As you guys look up and see a woman float up and hit him with a disintegrate. And as the body disintegrates, it disappears. And a few seconds later, a massive explosion happens over Waterdeep Bay. As you guys are like, oh, safe place. Okay, do we go in now? Because the, 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 you know, 40-foot-tall skeleton god, is is he still there? No, he's quite dead. Okay, that's what I thought. So... What about the Death Riders? Are they hanging out, or did they, like, fall like cut puppets? As that happens, basically you see the Death Riders come kind of like, Get in there! Oh. <laughs> One of the guards walks up. Come on, guys! You got it! You got it! That, yeah, you see them start retreating from the tower after Merkul was annihilated. Uh, Patience runs up to the tower, then. You run up. <laughs> As you are running up, some you see a woman and two men run by you. They're just like, no time, no time. Do we recognize these two? I mean, the ones that pass the history, right? Hmm. Uh, 
Um, 15 on religion. 14. Exactly, screaming guy. Okay, so the 14 and the 15. Oh, Patience. shit. I know a thing. Fittingly, Athena, less so. Mm. They, the um, woman and the man look like, you're not 100% sure because they just kind of ran by you as you're going through. Looks like pictures you've seen of Mistra and Kalimbor. He just, he, he did like a double take and then he continues Same. back into the Black Tower, Black Staff Tower. And you guys run up and you see sitting on a thing, a man you don't see, but you recognize his staff. He's just like, Black staff? That's what I'm called? Who are you? How'd you get in my tower? Damn it. The door this... is just open. Uh I'm gonna step forward and say, um Are you are you okay? You Do you need healing? What? Oh gods no. We I have that potions. magic mess. Oh I got potions too. Oh okay. Well, yeah, magic. By way of explanation, um I'm sure you'll be used to hearing things like this, but we're from the future. We're members of Farce Gray. Uh, we're the Gray Hands. I, I can't remember which one. Farce Gray. Definitely not Force the Gray Grey. Hands. The Gray okay. Hands are really like level 20. <laughs> right, right, okay. So we're members of Farce Gray. We're from the future. We were sent on assignment up the mountain to investigate an anomaly, and it shunted us 100 years at our past. So we're here now. No, 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 no. I need not know too much about our own futures. No, no, that's all you needed to hear from me. He, what happens in the next 100 years? years? <laughs> um, I wasn't there for much of it. I'm only, uh... You, are, only, you aren't the Black I'm, Staff. Why am I not the Black Staff? I do not know. But it's, um... Patience would know her name. Do but, we know? Varsha. Var Varsha has taken your place. If mm -hmm. you ever get her as an apprentice in the future, at least then you'll know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we're taking... Someone named Varsha as an apprentice. Things must really have changed in a hundred years. Shut up. Yeah. She, what she, else uh, happens? What happens to Elementster? What other events of major note happen between now and your time? Um, there was something called Death Curse, but we got better. Hmm. Uh, Serene slaps her hand over his mouth. Shut up. He looks at you like, why? <laughs> Dennis trying not to say anything because I'm older than literally all of you. Mm, adventurous. How old is Thana, actually? I'm 87. Oh, shit. So I was going to say, is you, would you. I remember a lot this? more of this shit than you guys. I'm just also dumb as shit, so I forgot most of it. Oh, you're, well, you're a dwarf, <laughs> and they like to stay secluded from most things. Yeah. So it's. I, I uh, even though technically, age wise, I am 117 because of. Um, that ghost touch, but um, I only have 87 years of memories. Your birthday was 87 years ago. Yeah. Uh, right. right. Um, anyway. Does him asking this seem suspicious to me? Um, Backstaff asking those? Yeah. Um, roll history? See what you can remember about this guy. I got 18. I'm trying to remember out of character about this guy. <laughs> the Black Staff uh, has some interesting history. For Ray I got, Lorbard. I also I got sixteen. Um, it doesn't seem suspicious as an out of character because you know the old Black Staff was a paranoid guy who always tried to have plans and plans and prepare for the future and have contingencies. So he's probably trying to find out what he can so he can prepare for the future and be ready for anything that hits. Okay, but in, I'm gonna, I'm still Serene's still kind of suspicious because of this whole like paradox thing. Mm -hmm. that's, really that's, what, that's what I thought. Yeah, and if that's why she does what she does. Oh okay. yeah. That is probably good too. It's, he's not bad or evil, 
but he's not always... He's just not... Altruistic. He's not trusting, yeah. and he's very um, paranoid. Yeah, he's... Blackstaff is on Blackstaff's side. Got it. So, what y'all do now? That's your, uh, before would, I remember any, would I remember any kind of, like, 90 to, like, 75 years back kind of historical events that might interest him? Would um... Wow, quite I mean, a mouthful there. Yeah. I mean, you can tell him some minor things, but overall, most of what you know, you don't know how much he'd be able to utilize for himself. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, Roch will pick the name of one of the uh, younger, more successful up-and-coming families uh, from the last hundred years and advise him to keep a close eye on this family and maybe give them a little help and they might help him back. So anybody with aspirations of a political bent uh, in the in the Lords. While you guys are talking history and future stuff, can we take a rest here? You want to rest in my house? Rude. You're interrogating my friend about the future. I feel like it's entitled. You broke into my house. We walked in the front door, it was open. There was a 40-foot god outside! Thana, Thana, maybe don't That's yell true. at the Archmage with the massively powerful spells. Wait, that was a god? Oh, cool. Or cool. Yeah, some... A wizard named Midnight just somehow killed him. I think she's channeling the remnant powers of Mystery. Her and, um... The others are heading to Mount Waterdeep to return the tablets. Then it's oh. just gonna collapse in a chair. Oh, that's where we were sent. To Mount Waterdeep to retrieve I, the tablets? No, no, the anomaly was in Mount Waterdeep. Anomaly? That sent us here. The thing that sent us here. Oh. Yeah. Tablets? The that... We should probably go back. Hey, that's where we were headed after we came here to see if there was anything else we needed to do here. Well, there's probably still demons and undead in the city. We could help clean those out as adventurers. I, that's what your not, adventurers I, do. I'm leery of making any more changes than we already have. I mean, she's killed a demon once. We fought a dragon. We got away. Um, oh, yeah. Him. Hey, how, many, how many levels can I get with this? Is a show gold? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I accept your quest. <laughs> no. I killed the worst demon. Lots of demons. You get used he to it. He fucked me adventures. up. Yes. But I did it. Wait, you're a female. That's unusual. Yeah. But your friend's unusual too. The other one. I've seen her outside of the planes. Wait. You know, he's one too. Excuse me? Poking patients. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Your kind isn't common around here. You're too related. You look very similar. I assume we both look at each other like really, really in the back. Of wow. Oh, are you both Asmodian tieflings? I think so. I'm, you're, you're like your standards. I'm right? Zar I'm Zariel. Ma you? Maybe not mechanically, but thematically. Right. Like, yeah. Most of the tieflings I know have no resemblance to one another. They're very variety. They have a huge variety in difference. But you two are very similar. Okay, let's just go back to the <laughs> And Patience the turns around. The dog is staring at me and licking his lips. <laughs> now he's licking yours. Patience turns around does the dramatic, you know, he's wearing full plate with cloaks, so the cloaks are cool. And she just, he's out of there. And also, yeah. yeah, it's unusual to see female dwarfs outside of their cities. They're I'm well protected. I'm assuming I didn't get a short rest. Nope. <laughs> Not yet, I don't think. I'm, I'm already leaving. Hmm. Dana begrudgingly pulls herself out of her chair. Good luck. I'm really happy I left that sickle of Mark cool with the kids. <laughs> oh yeah, the angst one. That's yeah. like episode one. <laughs> that could have been really bad. <laughs> Wait, you're serving a Mark cool. Kill him. So, um, yeah, so, we're gonna head that way. Does anybody have any um, any wine on them by chance, Anna? Of course, I fucking have wine on me. It's not yeah. wine though. It's it's very.
very strong with her. Oh, I passed it to him. Oh no, um, I was just thinking. Perhaps we could leave it here and come back for it later. Why? Uh, <laughs> Find a secluded place. I don't have wine on me. I'll turn to vinegar in a hundred years. Yeah. It'll be beyond it vinegar. Be, it would be years. the most exquisite vinegar ever. It was red wine vinaigrette. Now it's so good. Let me... No, it's kitchen cleaner. Let it's me... really just a shame that uh, it's just a shame that we're in the midst of a fucking invasion, and probably the banks aren't open right now. Banks, first edition. <laughs> Holy fuck balls, you guys! Do you know how much money we could stand to make if we invested right now? Paradox. I know, but fuck. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say nobody's gonna set up an investment opportunity in the middle of a goddamn God's War. I know, that's what I said, it's a damn shame. So as you guys head to Waterdeep. Really? You're, you're thinking of money at a time like this? The dead god has been defeated, so we're kind of off the clock as far as getting you know, shit done around the town is concerned. I mean, his army is still murdering children and They're retreating! In the street. They were treated. They? they were being driven back. Yeah, the fucking Death Knights got off as soon as the de- as soon as the god died. Yeah, but for all we know, for us being here, just the fact we were here, we couldn't have done nothing. We could have just been at the mountain the whole time. We could have drastically changed everything. I mean, even just sit- sitting at the mountain. I mean, how much interaction do you expect we're going to actually have? So, as you guys get to the mountain, where the portal was. For an instance, as you're walking up, you see a figure talking to some people in front of him with a long robe that looks like you're looking into space and an ageless face. And you don't hear or see anything, but it disappears, and everyone on the mountain disappears at the same time. Oh, I'm cool. just grabbing patience. Cool robes. Uh oh. Huh? What? Was that a god? Can I even try religion on that? I know what it is out of I definitely know who he is out of character, but you can all try history slash religion. Because this guy tries a really good job of not being known. So that's why I'm like I'm not sure if this will work. Holy shit, I got a nineteen. Yeah, I also know. this heck yeah dice rolls nineteens so often. This one rolls five, so <laughs> wanna switch? No. <laughs> I got I got nine total, so no way. I got sixteen. 19. I'm pretty sure none of us passed. Okay. So, the 16 and the 19. For 16, you know this event from the um, histories. That was Lord Ao, the supreme deity. And you know that was something happened here. With the 19, you know this was the moment that Midnight and Sirik handed him the tablets and get elevated to godhood and basically ended the time of troubles. Which, by the way, magic feels better now for the spellcasters. He's he's essentially the god of gods. Like, Uh Uh-huh, yeah, I know who I always. And as you guys walk, you see the temporal anomalies like... I guess let's walk into it. Oh, um, patience okay. walks up to where they were standing before. It's just like there's just nothing there. Nothing there. Though so you do feel. Oh, I thought we saw the harmless. temporal anomaly. No, you see the temporal anomaly. Yeah. They were. You realize history, where the monument and stuff is, a little off. It's a little off. So no one was there except for those individuals. So they're just thinking of where it was. And it's like Ao was here, so they built the monument. But the oh, monument okay. is actually built a couple hundred feet from okay, yeah. where it actually happened. He doesn't have a symbol, I don't think. Mm, he did, but because it was... He doesn't, he doesn't have worshippers, and those that worship no. him don't get powers from him. He hates... It's like, no worshippers. Yeah, he's like the lady. Um, he's like, whatever. When we look into the, the portal, do we see anything? Uh, Pretty colors. If we get ten feet away from it? More just pretty colors? You just see a repeat of various events throughout history. We can't tell what looks like home because home is just 
for the past couple hundred years, water deeps all looked very similar. Yeah. Do we see a bunch of wizards flying and shooting stuff at each other and they all look the same? Mm, that happens. There is a dark period that needs not mentioned. But, I um, guess let's step through. Okay. Look at where your sticks there, patients. I was about oh, to yeah. do something out of character and be like, huh, no, let's wait until we see something that we recognize. But you said, let's step through. And I'm patient. Uh -huh. So I go, okay. Whoop. So patient steps. At That's the thing. How are we going to recognize it? History it checks. would just look like everyday water deep. Unless we ended up in the way different future and turn into retroverse. Um, retroverse so. is its own multiverse. I don't know. As the light fades, we don't know what, you're in what appears to be a laboratory, and you see an old wizard wearing robes looking at you. He's like, um, Lapne, Ludzom, Eleanor, Nethra, Es Usmos, Karsus. And that's where we end. Right. Well, I'm so much of a nerd. Lab, do you mean like medieval ner uh, lab or like sci fi lab? It's most advanced magical alchemy lab that you like talk to your wizard so not okay. future so i will write what was said see if any of you catch it no i i caught all of that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's a language that none of you actually know what do you mean that's not dwarven <laughs> <laughs> i'd have never guessed like a Latin. Do we equivalent. recognize any of the words though? Like how Next some week. words are in different. Some sounded like names. Mm, yeah. Next week, yeah. As we end on that mm. cliffhanger. Mm. Specifically, oh. that last word is something you probably catch. Yeah. All yeah. right. Ooh. And so next week, join as to figure out what's going on. Cool. Cool. Oh. Huh. Any plugs for the coming week? Um, corruption game on Friday. Yeah. Yay! Team you look so constipated. Corruption hey, how's it going, week. son? I actually have to plan something. They actually have something planned instead of just going to the nut bar. That was fun. Mm -hmm. There's nuts. Mm -hmm. um, I need so, a boy. Retroverse Friday, then Morpheus, yeah. and Waterdeep. Anyone else have any other games popping up? He's doing the leg thing and he's scratching the shit on me. Uh, nope, but I, I guess I'll do this plug anyway. Just came out this week in the DM's Guild. Uh, Zebedai's Fishing Equipment and Techniques came out. It is pay what you want. Free, essentially. Um, you can... I wrote it, uh, drew it, and designed it myself. And um, if you want to add a little bit of spice to your uh, Ghost of Salt Marsh campaigns, since a lot of people are going to be starting aquatic campaigns. There's some new fishing equipment in that. Um, there's new crazy fishing bait if you want to use, I don't know, like a Mind Flare tadpole. I don't know where you would buy it from, but... Yeah. Oh, city. Yeah. So, this is where I, uh, merchants. Add, add a little bit more variety. Or, or if you want to fish yeah. with a bow, like you're an elf, there's a lot of new elven fishing techniques in that. Yeah, go check that. it out. Yeah. Does one of them involve talking to the fish and it just leaps out of the water for you? Yes, actually. I was being sarcastic, but that's I, I know. That's why I'm like, actually, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is such good butt scratches, huh, Terry? My favorite one's noodling, where you just pretend your arm's like a giant worm. <laughs> Jam your fist in their mouth and just like, come on! Yeah. Yeah. Also, again... Siren Escape was our soundtrack. Yeah, go check them out. They're awesome. That troll oh. soundtrack is amazing. Mm -hmm. One day we get back to Zablob. Oh, that'd Wait, be great. How old is Zablob? Not that old. His shop is old, but it's mm. a different guy owning it at that time you were in. Oh, darn. Yeah. That was the original oh. person who owned Zablob's shop. History-wise, Zablob was named after a beholder the original shopkeeper killed. And stuffed. That's in the window. Oh. Interesting. Yep. Alright. So, if there's nothing else, we bid you adieu for the week. Yeah. Did Bye. we level from killing a demon? We'll see you off camera. Bye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>